Hello, and welcome to module number three of exam 7412, Implementing Dynamic Access Control. This lesson is about implementing access denied assistance. One of the most common causes for help desk support calls is the inability to access resources. When a user attempts to access a resource and does not have proper permissions, in most cases, a generic access denied error will be presented. In Windows Server 2012 and Windows 8, there is a new feature called Access Denied Assistance. Administrators can use Access Denied Assistance to customize access denied messages and to enable users to request access. After completing this lesson, you will be able to describe Access Denied Assistance, configure Access Denied Assistance, and implement Access Denied Assistance. What is Access Denied Assistance? One of the most common errors that users receive when they try to access a file or folder on a remote file server is an access denied error. Typically, this error occurs when a user tries to access a resource without having the proper permissions to do so, or because of incorrectly configured permissions on the resource ACLs. Using DAC can create further complications if it is implemented incorrectly. For example, Users who should have permission to access a resource will not be granted access if a relevant attribute value used by DAC in their account is misspelled. When users receive this error, they typically try to contact the administrator to obtain access. However, administrators usually do not approve access to resources, so they redirect users to someone else for approval. In Windows Server 2012, there is a new feature to help users and administrators in such situations. This feature is called Access Denied Assistance. Access Denied Assistance helps users respond to access denied issues without involving IT staff. It does this by providing information to users about the problem and by directing them to the proper person. Access Denied Assistance is a feature in the Windows 8 operating system that helps users to notify administrators when they are unable to access a resource. It allows an IT staff to properly diagnose a problem and then implement a resolution. Windows Server 2012 enables you to customize messages about denied access and provide users with the ability to request access without contacting the help desk or IT team. Combined with DAC, Access Denied Assistance can inform a file administrator of user and resource claims and enable the administrator to make educated decisions about how to adjust policies or fix user attributes. Note, only Windows 8 or newer versions and Windows Server 2012 or newer support Access Denied Assistance. When you plan for Access Denied Assistance, you should include the following. Define messages that users will receive when they attempt to access resources for which they do not have access rights. The message should be informal and easy to understand. Determine whether users should be able to send a request for access via email. If so, optionally, you can configure the text that will be added to their email messages. Determine the recipients for the access request email messages. You can choose to send email to folder owners, file server administrators, or any other specified recipient. Messages should always be directed to the proper person. If you have a help desk tool or monitoring solution that allows email messages, you can also direct those messages to generate user requests automatically in your help desk solution. Decide on target operating systems. Access Denied Assistance only works with Windows 8 or Windows Server 2012 or newer versions of these. The Access Denied Assistance feature provides three ways to troubleshoot issues with access denied errors. Self-remediation. Administrators can create customized access denied messages that are authored by the server administrator. By using the information in these messages, users can try to self-remediate access denied cases. The message can also include URLs that direct users to self-remediation websites that are provided by the organization. Remediation by the data owner. Administrators can define owners for shared folders. This enables users to send email messages to data owners to request access. For example, if a user is left off a security group membership accidentally, 
or the user's department attribute value is misspelled, the data owner might be able to add the user to the group. If the data owner does not know how to grant access to the user, the data owner can forward this information to the appropriate IT administrator. This is helpful because the number of user support requests that escalate to the support desk should be limited to specialized cases or cases that are difficult to resolve. Remediation by the help desk and file server administrators. If users cannot self-remediate issues and if data owners cannot resolve the issue, then administrators can troubleshoot issues by accessing the UI to view the effective permissions for the user. For example, an administrator should be involved in cases in which claims attributes or resource object attributes are defined incorrectly or contain incorrect information, or when the data itself appears to be corrupted. You use Group Policy to enable the Access Denied Assistance feature. Open the Group Policy Object Editor and navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System, Access Denied Assistance. In the Access Denied Assistance node, you can enable Access Denied Assistance, and you can also provide customized messages for users. Alternatively, you can use the FSRM console to enable Access Denied Assistance. However, if Access Denied Assistance is enabled in Group Policy, the appropriate settings in the FSRM console are disabled for configuration. You can also use the FSRM Management Properties page to configure a customized Access Denied Assistance message for a particular folder tree within the server. For example, a per share message. In this video, we will show you how to enable Access Denied Remediation. For that, let's use a DAC Policy GPO and edit it. Under Policies, Administrative Templates, System, you can see Access Denied Assistance. You can customize it, and here you can display a message to the users who are denied access, such as, you do not have permissions, and please contact your department manager. Or, send an email to sysadmin at howtonet.local. And, you can also choose to include additional recipients. If you want to include device claims or user claims, you can do that too. In the next setting, you should configure Access Denied Assistance to a client by enabling it and clicking OK. This is one way. The other way is by selecting Tools, File Server Resource Manager, right-click it and choose Configure Options. Here, you have the Access Denied Assistance tab. You can enable it and configure email requests include recipient list, and type a text that the user should see. You can do a preview, and from here the user can request assistance. But in order to use this, you must first configure your email notifications, such as SMTP servers and such. And that's all about access denied remediation. In this video, we described Access Denied Assistance, configured Access Denied Assistance, and implemented Access Denied Assistance. In the next video, we will continue our look at Implementing Dynamic Access Control, which is about implementing and managing work folders. I thank you for watching this video, and please have a look at your assignment for this module.